Thank you for watching Munchkin's Reading Corner. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another reading adventure. Today we'll be reading Chairs on Strike by Jennifer Jones. If you have this book, go and grab it so you can follow along. Could you imagine for a minute what it's like to be a chair? How often people sit on you without a second care? You know, sitting's not the only thing that happens in our seats. Sometimes a kid sits pretzel style and we have to smell their feet. Sometimes the kids at school sit down hard without any care. And boy, oh boy, it hurts us. It's simply not fair. Other times a kid is acting up, leaning back until we fall. No, it's not much fun being a chair. Not much fun at all. We get dragged across the room by our backs and left in places we don't like. Sometimes we get swung around and get ridden on like a bike. When we are used at lunchtime, food is smeared on us all around. Mustard, ketchup, and some things we don't like, but we never make a sound. None of this is as bad for a chair as the very worst, stinkiest part, when a child or adult sits on us and lets out a yucky fart. One day we had enough of being treated in a way we don't like, so my chair buddies and I, well, we decided to go on strike. We gathered in the classroom late at night and wrote some letters to discuss our needs. We're going on strike, starting now, over some of your misdeeds. You sit on us like animals and rock us until our legs break. You treat us poorly every day. No more of this we take. We can get back to work, but first here's what we ask. A little respect and kindness so we can do our task. We left the letters on the teacher's desk and quickly wobbled out of there. The kids came in the next morning and asked, where, oh where, are our chairs? For a full day during class, the kids were forced to stand. A couple of kids forgot and tried to sit down, but on their bottoms they did land. While it was fun for several hours, the kids started to get sick of the game. They were able to do all their schoolwork, but it just wasn't the same. So they took out their pencils and paper, and they wrote us each a letter back. Once done, they left it at their desk and ran to the cafeteria for a snack. We snuck back in the classroom and read all the children's notes. Some of them were truly touching and had us choked up in our throats. We're sorry we treated you badly, one said. It's not on purpose, you see. We didn't realize we were disrespectful. Chair, you are so important to me. You're there for me to lean on, to sit down on when I need a rest. You make me comfortable and focused so that I can do my very best. If you come back, I promise I will not rock on you or fart. I'll simply sit on you while learning math, studying the planets, and doing art. In the end, we agreed to come back. We missed our children dearly. When we returned, the children were kind and kept their promise cheerfully. Thank you for reading Chairs on Strike with us on Munchkin's Reading Corner. We'll see you next time for the next reading adventure. And remember, it's never too early to start reading. See you soon.